hey hello what's up guys welcome to the channel and in this video i'm going to show you i created uh, one keyer tool inside new so this is called the mix keyer so i'm going to walk through quickly how this keyer work and how it's and how it is different from the other keyer and what is the advantage of using this keyer instead of the default new keyer as you can see i have a few examples here we will see the all examples first let's see the keyer itself so if i'm grab my keyer so this is the tool like these are the parameters so basically uh, the idea of this keyer is you can mix channels to get better key so that is the uh, that is the strand of this keyer what i mean uh, we can combine uh, rgb to get a better key as you can see in this image take the highlight part as you can see the in the red channel i can see more highlights so in the green channel is broad and the blue channel is overall that is the basic concept of this keyer but what i did here you can you can combine two channels see in here i have a choose in between you can see the plus so basically you can combine all three channels and also the luminance so i can take the luminance from this image and i can also take the uh, red channel from this same image and i can uh, combine these together and i can mix here all those uh, the key fall off and uh, multiply offset and gamma so let's see this in example how this is very useful so as you can see in this my first image uh, i have this image for show the red, red green and blue channel so as you can see the red have this flame and overall we have this thing and in the in the green we have very less uh, here because everything is hitting the red very less in the green you can see the overall the same in the red and green only difference is this uh, fire and same is the blue so as you can see every channel we have the same thing but uh, i want to affect only uh, uh, this red and uh, highlight area as you can see i said i already set the settings here now this is what i get if i open the properties taking the red from here and blue from here and plusing this together and uh, making the blue 0.5 if you just view the blue this is the very highlighted core area and so combining these together and second important thing is this type this is the fall up type basically so if i set this to linear you you will see everything so if i set this to p linear you will see only the highlighted part and some quadratic fall off and you can change here and you can see which one is best for you so for my case i am choosing this one and you can offset basically so this offset and this invert is same uh, the only thing is in the offset you get a slider in the invert you just invert and everything will invert it but in the offset you can slide it like this and it will slowly slowly getting invert as you can see if i increase this amount eventually you will see this will become a invert see as you can see now it's inverting and i'm again offsetting this one so you can uh, do uh, very cool fine tuning with this offset and the same as the multiplier and the gamma uh, in the next example uh, now we have multiple colors so as you can see we have a cyan and we have a yellow a yellow here and we have a blue here so i want to do a key i want only this part uh, i want to i don't want a mountain so what i did here the same thing i just added a blur to make a little bit smooth to pixel blur and for you this one as you can see i'm completely ignoring uh, this part so we are basically combining these two channels to get a key so what is that means so as you can see if i set this to blue so i'm getting the top area and the red is sitting here if i reduce this one so i'm removing here so if i make one and i can uh, individually control every area de depending on the color of that area you can see the camera here also is working very pretty good changing the color in the bottom area and in the third example as you can see uh, we have a uh, green and uh, this red magenta purple color here what i want to do i want to only change uh, the hue and color of this thing not the green one so what i did here i set it a two keyer here two mix keyer in the first one i only use i only select the green one and the second option is off and the default is the linear and everything is default in the, and in the second one i take the red only and re, and remove the blue one and then i take it off from it and i take the merge and set the operation to from so i'm just so now as you can see i'm ignoring everything 
I'm ignoring the green as you can see and keeping the every other channel every other color now I can use this one and color correct so you can see I'm also affecting this defocus area as you can see and this is the key what I got I can add a blur and do a small blur this is the effect now uh, this example as you can see we have this feather and we have this multiple colors here very bright and very cool I did here basically in this one I take the green and the blue so I combine these together if I disable if I just enable the green one as you can see we are getting this area but we are losing this part so that part is uh, sitting in the blue channel so if I increase this one you will see that part is come and I can increase this multiplier also to boost that area as you can see but I think this default setting is good this fall off type is very 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 nice you can see if I set this to linear you can see everything is uh, key basically so if you want very tight fall tight fall off you can use this P linear and you can check other options as well here I think the smooth one is very good for now and I can invert this one but I don't want to invert so and I use the second key here to take only the red in the first one in the second one I'm not using anything the operation is smooth I can and the default setting basically merging together with the screen operation so as you can see uh, I have this I show you I'm adding basically the red one here as you can see in this area so as you can see this part I'm adding and I can do a color correct and in this one as you can see in this photo we have uh, many colors so I show you the red green and blue as I show in the beginning of this video so what we are going to do using the same concept here I'm opening my key here and as you can see I'm using the red and I'm combining with the green to show you the green so this is the green the default so this is the green and I'm then adding a red so this is the red and green and I'm pushing this one further and using the P linear type if I use this one it's it's getting the follow type very very smooth and this one but I want very tight follow up so I'm using this one and setting the multiplier 3 and gamma, gamma uh, 0.7 I'm using the U correct and as you can see I can correct the U in this area only and we are also getting very nice follow up as you can see uh, if you want you can decrease this one uh, like this to get a better fall off here as you can see if you want to get a better fall off you can uh, change uh, change this type here to get a nice nicer fall off so I'm setting with this one uh, like that and now if I will see now we have a more smoother fall off and I can change uh, the color of this side any direction I want I think this this one is pretty good looking very natural and in this last example uh, we have this so let's see I want to key this part I mean this head and little bit highlight here so as you can see the red channel is you don't have any information in the green we have information but most of the uh, thing is hitting the blue because it's blue here so what I did here I take it the same key here and uh, mixing the blue of 0.2 and the green is uh, 1.3 if, uh, if I just remove this one I remove this one also as you can see we have nothing if I increase this one we have this but in my case I set it this 2.3 because if I green the increase the green I'm getting this one and this one both of the things but in the blue we only seeing this head so I can increase the head and I can boost uh, this thing very much and I can reduce this green a bit here so if I completely remove the green we still see here so that is the advantage of mixing channels you can change the fall off here this fall off is very nice you get many options in the key as you can see so uh, I'm always keeping the P linear so by default the P linear is the default one and like that let me increase this bit okay so what I'm doing here I'm masking this area with this uh, as a, in a input and exponential low and adding on top here so I'm basically low in this area and this area also a bit as you can see if I want more what I can do I can increase this one the green and now we have this okay 
so this is the uh, overview of this tool this is my tool the mix gear please check out this tool and you can download a link from the video description and also on my patreon channel please let me know if it is helpful in your comp i find very useful uh, because in the new we don't have many gear options so that's why i built this one and let me know in the comment how it's benefiting your comp thank you for watching see you in a very next one